Okay, so this is our final thriller video and you'll be able to see um, how far we've got from when we first started doing our prelim to our final finished piece. This is the opening of our thriller. We've got the Scrabble Productions logo because that's our, what our production is called. Um, we decided to put this because we thought it would be more professional and we thought it would open nicely with the clown face in the background to represent the genre of the film. Um, we've got the colours red, black and white all representing different words. Red representing blood, violence, danger and black representing evil. Same with this colour here, we've got red representing evil, danger, blood. And it opens with the sound. Whereas we didn't have sound in our prelim video because um, it was just a quick task that we had to do in class. But now we had the chance to actually add some sound, which adds a better effect on the audience and a more creepy, eerie effect upon them. Um, this is one thriller convention. It was the knife. As you can see, I've got the knife in my hand there, which is a thriller convention with blood all over it. This just um, makes a scary effect on the audience once again. Also makes the audience wonder, leaves them questioning why she got the knife in her hand and who this person is that's in the film. The married couple, Gloria and Arthur Price's bodies, were found in their own home. We also had a voiceover because we thought it would be really effective. We thought it would tell the story a bit more and we thought it would be clear to the audience. Also for this scene where she's running through the woods we thought we'd um, keep the lighting low and we edited it by putting it down in the um, editing software because we thought it would be more dreary, gloomy, more like what a thriller would look like. This was reported by a friend of the family, Jenny Hayward. As she comes through here, it's dark and it's gloomy, which is another thriller convention because that's what you normally expect from a thriller movie dark and gloomy. Um, and something bad to happen where we don't know what's actually going to happen next which is what leaves the audience still questioning what's going to happen also we've got the lighting it's flashing on and off which leaves a creepy eerie effect um, also it's weird because like who's um, flickering off the lights on and off so that leaves the audience once again questioning what's going on here An over shoulder, the sh of over shoulder shot here um, to show the girls looking at a family photo. I thought this would be effective because um, it's just like she's isolated on her own, she's got no one with her, she's lonely. Um, yeah, that's it really for that one. We had that sound sting there because we thought it would be effective to show. Um, that she's worried and she's scared and lonely and she doesn't really know what to do right now. And again, there was another sound spin and she ripped the piece of paper, shows that she's scared. Just with that, so. Here we had a hot. Oh. We had a um, high angle shot here, just to show that um, this figure, just a faint figure, just to make it more creepy and eerie. Um, like we know it's the girl, but we don't know how she's feeling because we can't see her face. So it just makes it more mysterious. And she's coming closer to the camera. 
we still can't see her face, so it's still a bit mysterious. We don't know how she's feeling. We had this um, shot of the feet, which was a bit different. We thought we'd uh, add this in because we thought you can't see her face, and we thought it's quite a good one because you don't know what she's feeling, you don't know what her facial expression's like. It might not even be the same girl, you don't know. It's just a mystery. And once again, we've got the title at the end with the, oh, with the red um, font. Uh, just to represent blood, danger, evil, all the thriller conventions that you'd expect for a thriller. And that's it.